All right, I'm going to show you how to play Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Uh, it's pretty simple once you get the basic idea. A couple of, I'm going to give you like a jazzy version, all right? So it kind of sounds like this. Let's just take that much for now, actually, all right? So you're going to be basically playing a C chord here. So C, you'll see the C, E, G here. But if, if you play it this way with your left hand, if you have an, if you can reach with your hands, otherwise just take some notes out. But try and play a C, a G, and a C with your left hand. We're sitting a little left of, set of the middle C here, okay? And your right hand is going to play E, G, and another C, okay? But here's the thing, actually. Let's have your pinky, let's have your forefinger play that C, so that you can play this high E up here just to start the tune. Swing low, okay? Swing low. All right, so you start the whole song by playing that E with your pinky, and then just that C chord, all right? Swing low. Okay, so the next thing is to play this, uh, add in this B flat here. Swing low. So you basically move from that, that C to open to a C7. So everything about that uh, first chord stays the same. The only difference is that pinky that's playing a C up here is going to move down to a B flat. Okay? So you've got swing low. And if you want, I like to walk down half steps. C, B, B flat. So watch. Swing low. Okay? Now you're gonna move to a G, it's like a G minor six. Sweet, but I'm gonna have you play it like this. Um, with your thumb, an E, your left thumb, and with your right hand, G, B flat, and D. Sweet chair. And then for chair, for chariot, you're gonna uh, move to an F. So F, C, and F in your left hand, A and C in your right hand. bit low for me. So for that chariot, you're going to sort of do a resolve to a C. I'm going to write the chords just as F to a C, but really it's sort of like another F. Okay? So the way to play that is to play C, G, and C in your left hand, and then you're going to start with F, A, and C in your right hand, and you're going to sort of eventually move these, this F and this A here down one white note each to E and G. Okay, so here's the first part again. Swing low. F to a C. All right, cool. So now the next part, pretty simple, is you start again with that C. It sounds like this. Coming for to, uh, coming for to carry me home. Okay. So just that part is mostly C chords actually, and it's just going to be C. I'll write it C, C prime, C double prime. Uh, actually, I'm not even going to write that like that. I'm just going to write C chords, and I'm going to have you know that you're going to need to sort of jump up in the way you play that. So that you're going to play the first chord like this. C, G, and C in your left hand. E, G, and C in your right hand. And four, two, carry. Carry, you're going to jump your thumb up to an E. So you're basically still playing the same exact chord. You're just going to jump up where you play the notes, all right? So your thumb plays E. Your right thumb plays G, C, and E. Carry me. For me, you're going to play a G with your left thumb, a C with your right thumb, an E, and a G to finish that off. Carry me home. Okay, for home, you're going to switch to a G chord. So G, D, and G in your left hand. B, D, and G in your right hand. Okay? And you're going to do this little walk down. Home. So your bass hand is just going to walk down two half steps. Home until you get to a G7 chord. All right? And then you're going to sort of start back over with that beginning part, or, yeah, you're going to play this first part of the uh, little chorus. Swing low. Swing. If you want to get the melody, it's an A and a G. Swing. And then C, that C chord, just like the, uh, the first part. So that's C7, just like the first time. Sweet uh, G minor 6, F. F to a C, okay? Now the last, the, the last fourth of the, this progression sounds like this. Come in for to carry me home. All 
right, one more time. Coming for to carry me home. We're getting a little sloppy there, but that chord is just a D minor seven. So D, A, and D in your left hand. F, A, and C. So you should see this sort of a shape here. Come in for two. And if you want to get the melody in your hand as well, come in for two. You sort of walk your pinky up a, a white note. Come in for two. Okay? Now carry me. You're gonna walk your pinky up one more white note. Carry me is gonna carry me. So E, E, D, D. But you're basically playing, I wanna just show you this chord here which I'm gonna write as a G7, but really when the, when your pinky's up here, it's some other chord, I'm not sure which, but it's carry me, it resolves to a G7. So, this is a little bit tricky. Your left hand plays G, D, and G. Your right thumb sneaks underneath to get this F here, and then you're gonna play a B, and your pinky starts on that E, carry, and then moves to a D, me, and that's your G7, okay? And then the end is just home, just that F to C that you've probably recognized from the other parts. So F is C, F and C in your left hand. It's actually an F over a C. And then you've got an F, an A, and a C in your right hand. And that resolves. The, the uh, one and three fingers in your right hand are just going to move down white notes to E, G, and C in your right hand. Your left hand is going to stay where it is. So a quick review, swing low, that's a C, C7, G minor 6, F, F to a C, 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 G, G7, if you want the pickup, A to a G, C, uh, and you probably want to swing low, but the chords are C, C7, G minor 6, F, F to a C, D minor 7, uh, resolving to a G7, F to a C. So I know there's a lot of jazzy chords there and that's, a whole, and that's a, kind of a lot to work through, but once you get that part, you can play all the other parts. And you just sort of pick up the pace a little bit. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? to carry me home band of angels coming after me coming forward to carry me home swing low alright so I'm gonna kinda having some fun with it but that's the whole point you should pick up the speed you can still play the same chord progression so one two three four one two three two three two three me coming forward to carry me this is the exact progression swing low I just sort of played it bouncy and fast, right? You can do the exact same thing, and you can also sort of mess around. Right, little slides. Just so, sort of uh, see if you can mess around. This is a good song to sort of uh, work up, work on your, I don't know, your noodling chops. <laughs> your noodling chops. All right, so that's the whole song, all right? I hope this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.